We are going over Detroit Lions news in today's video. We're going to be talking about should the Detroit Lions re-sign Emmanuel Mosley. Taylor Decker contract coming up. What is it going to look like? Should the Detroit Lions extend him? We're going to get into NFL power rankings. The Detroit Lions are looking pretty after the Super Bowl and the season being complete. And we're going to get into Antonio Brown talking about our Lions. Let's go. If you're a fan of the Detroit Lions, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. Why? Because that's all we do on here is Detroit Lions content. In season, off season, if you like live streams, if you like videos, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're going to start with today's news. We'll start with Emmanuel Mosley should get another shot. Now, I actually am fine with this. I think this is okay at veteran minimum. Now, last year, Emmanuel Mosley was a one-year $6 million deal. He should not be getting that if he comes back to the Detroit Lions. The Lions has got to look at it as this guy's been injured twice. We will give a chance on him as a veteran minimum for this team, and it could really work out in a big way. And the, and the why veteran minimum is important, because here's the options for the Lions. They don't sign him. He goes to another team. He could get injured or he could play really well. Maybe he does a veteran minimum over there, try to get a one-year deal to, to re-embark his career, right? So he does well at a team. Then he goes off for a big contract. It could be a bust. He could absolutely get hurt again and nothing. That's why the Detroit Lions should take a chance in this, in my opinion. If it's a veteran minimum, it's not going to cost you much. And I think it's an opportunity to have that boom for this football team. If he busts out, it's not that big of a deal. It's a veteran minimum. Okay, no biggie. But if he works out, he is a good cornerback. I don't know if he can get back to the form with the, with the double surgeries that I have now on both of his legs areas. So take a chance. Why not? But don't offer anything big. If you're turning around and giving this guy a one-year $6 million deal, that, I think, in my opinion, would not be good. Let me know in the comment section right now. Would you re-sign Emmanuel Mosley? Let me know in the comment section. Why for yes and and for no. Let me know about your thoughts in the comments below. The Detroit Lions signed a defensive edge there. Matthew Betts played in the CFL. He was their star over there. He's an undersized linebacker slash pass rusher, kind of like a Julian Alguara type. What do I think about this sign? Do I think this is a great sign? Do I think... The Lions did a solid job signing this guy, and he's going to make an immediate impact for the Lions this season. No, I don't. He is a depth player, a 90-man roster player. There's a reason he's playing in the CFL, and the reason he's getting signed right now is because he is undersized, okay? And you do need players on your team for training camp and minicamps. He is a body. Not much there. Six foot three, two fifty. I think he will compete, but with what the Lions are going to be doing this offseason at, at linebacker edge, whatever pass rusher, you know they're going to go big, right? You know they're going to go get a a Daniel Hunter, it feels like, or a Josh Allen type, and they're going to draft a guy probably early in the draft and may double dip, whether it be free agency or in the draft. The odds are this guy ain't going to be on the team with the lack of roster spots, draft picks, and all of that. So I don't think it's that big of a signing. I really don't want to spend a whole lot more time on this. That's just my personal opinion here. But hey, go check him out. See what he can do. If you do not like overpaying for sports, this is for you. That's game time. With killer deals, last-minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed, you can stop stressing and start getting hyped for the fun that you're going to have. With Game Time, it is easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area, whether that's sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever, with their lowest prices guaranteed is the Game Time Guaranteed, which means you always get the best price. They find tickets in the same section or less. Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, baseball, basketball, concerts, and more in the middle screenshot. By the way, I think it's a fantastic feature of the app. It shows you where your seat is, and you can move your phone left to right, kind of like a 3D live photo. So download Game Time today. Real easy. You create an account, put in Lions Chat to get $20 off. You go to the redeem code section, plug in Lions Chat, create an account, terms to apply, 
Save $20 off your very first purchase. So get game time right now. The link is going to be in the comment section and description of this video. If you're buying Lions tickets this year or any other concert or comedy show, make sure you use a game time. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Let's go ahead and get into power rankings, folks. The Detroit Lions are looking pretty after the Super Bowl. And in the comment section right now, where do you want to see the Detroit Lions in the power rankings? One, if you think they're the best team in the NFL. 32, if you think they're butt cheeks. Me, I'm going to do four or five. ESPN's got four here. I concur with ESPN. I think this is correct. Um, that is the, that's where they should be. That's where they should be. They were up there with the 49ers. Should have beat them. Okay? When, you, when you're in the NFC Championship game, I think you should be four because you're the four that made it. So I agree. The Athletic has third. Fine with that, too. And you got to expect, too. They should know that the Lions have a lot of money in cap. Young players, they're only going to get better. It's not going to go down. Athletic has them the third best team in football. Big time, uh, you know, up there with the Super Bowl teams. USA Today, third place as well. Like seeing it. Again, another top five pick. And I agree with USA Today. This is interesting. I, would, I, I want to review where the Lions were ranked last year coming in to the season. I guarantee it wasn't this high. Let's see. Fox Sports has them third again. Good job. Like it. Yahoo has them fifth. Sporty News has got them fifth. These are good, solid spots for the Detroit Lions to be in power rankings. But again, in the comment section, where do you rank the Detroit Lions? Do you have them being one, the best team in the NFL? Do you have them being the 32nd best team in football? Blow up the comments below. Let's continue on here and talk about Taylor Decker. He wants to resign with the Detroit Lions. He's coming up on a deal. He says, of course, you want the money. But for me, I like it here. I love being here. Decker told Mikey, ultimately, do what I want forever, 100%. So we'll see. I, it, it'll be interesting. They could save a little bit of money if they were to extend him. They could, because it's around a little over $19 million right now for Taylor Decker, but you got to have your left tackle. I don't know if they're going to do this, because is there eye on Panay to go to the left side at some point? Is there an eye to do that? Potentially, but I do think that Dan Campbell really likes Taylor Decker. I do. So maybe they decide to wait on it. But he is coming up on age. At some point, you have to make that decision. Do you want Panay to go to the left side? That is something you got to think about because Panay is so good. You know, he could be left tackle, do fine, and you can get a right tackle. But if they're like, you know what? We're going to keep this offensive line intact. We're going to have a ridiculous offensive line. We're going to be hard. All for it. Then go ahead and bring it back. Fiscally, be fiscally responsible for the contract. I don't think you should give him top five tackle money if they decide to do it. Top 10, okay, 12 area. That would be fine. Because Taylor Decker is a good leader. He is a good person to have on this football team. We've seen it. We know what he can do with his leadership skills. He's a good left tackle. And, you know, Goff and everybody respects him. So you may want to keep a piece like that in-house when you have somebody that's getting it done. Antonio Brown had something to say, and I actually agree with him. Shocking, but it's true. Antonio Brown says, it feels like the Lions would be up 35-10 to 10 right now. And we all talked about that on the live stream when the game was taking place. We were all talking, there's no way they would, it would be 3-10. to 10. In the Super Bowl, the Detroit Lions would have put up at least 14 points in the first half. Their offense is better. And I believe, I think a lot of people want to see the Lions in the Super Bowl. I think they understand that the Detroit Lions is a good team. And it, it wouldn't be boring. That first half would not be boring if it was the Lions. It's not boring. 
They would be going, they, they would have runs everywhere. Everybody was saying that in the chat when I was doing the Super Bowl. I was thinking the same thing, that the Detroit Lions would make this Super Bowl look a lot better. That the Detroit Lions could have won that Super Bowl and beat Kansas City. And to think about that and wonder, we could be Super Bowl champions, because I think the Lions would have beat Kansas City Chiefs. We just screwed up that third quarter. Man, so freaking close. And I agree with A.B. But guess what? We're going to keep fighting because we are the Detroit Lions. We're going to keep trucking. We're going to keep grinding because that's what this team does. And we're going to get to that Super Bowl. It is Super Bowl or bust for me when I look at this football team. It is. I want the Detroit Lions to go to the Super Bowl. Now, their win-loss record may be worse than this year because it is a harder schedule and the NFC North is better. But they could be the better team this year. For sure, with the additions to the defense that they're probably going to be doing here very shortly. They're going to have those additions in there, and it's going to be pretty wild. For sure. So, Appreciate you. This is what this wasn't the most edited video. I didn't have time, had appointments, had things to do, but I wanted to drop a video so you guys get your Lions news and rumors that you so deserve. You got it. With that said, folks, adios.